This is the uh, banks here, which is very common around the Mile Lakes National Park. It often flowers between autumn and winter. It was first discovered by Sir Joseph Banks in 1770 when he landed on the east coast of Australia as part of the Endeavour expedition. The timber is um, very hard and durable. It was used by pipe bakers in early Sydney. It was prized for its aromatic <clears throat> timber, very hard and durable. Sir so Joseph Banks um, <coughs> was so impressed by this plant when he landed at Cornell and Botany Bay, Australia on the east coast of Australia, that he got his, um, <clears throat> the official artist on board, the endeavour was Sydney Parkinson, so he got him to paint uh, some of these specimens. And the paintings are still in existence around the world in museums as part of the Endeavour Journal. It's a beautiful golden flower. <clears throat> it um, blossoms in late autumn and winter and it's just uh, quite prevalent around this area that giving this beautiful golden texture in the bush. Here's one of the older banksias that uh, are in the, <coughs> in the area closer to Bulladeela River. They're a fair way away from the, from the settlement, uh, in the wrong village. So I guess they've been able to grow. There's quite a grove of these large banksias growing in the area here. And this one goes up to about 18 feet high with the blossoms up in the top canopy area. <clears throat> this banksia here is growing in the root system of that grey gum. They often seem to be growing in, in root systems of the local native trees. It's growing very healthily, 